Alright guys, so I am back from Las Vegas. I got Eddie here to run me through up, guys? Uh, the workouts for this week because Justin's orders from coach were to rest this week. So I don't want him in the gym training. He's done for a bit, but might be kicking around the idea of doing something later this year. We'll see because we were so close and the judges all said that he should keep going. So we'll, we will see. Um, as you guys already know by now, he got second, um, very close. Uh, could have probably done some things differently, but hey, hindsight's always 2020. So I'm hitting hamstrings today. Uh, Eddie's gonna run me through the workout and just provide a push uh, as I'm 18 days out from Texas Pro. And we're gonna just get in, get after it, keep everything the same and just keep doing the damn thing. Cool. Yeah, we got some new pieces in the gym at Revive, so we'll probably test some of those out, especially for hamstring day. We have a new single leg curl, a new lying leg curl, and a new seated leg curl. So we'll have some fun today. Need Eddie to push me through the last few last, last few workouts this week and then honestly buddy I could probably use you next week too. You just do this to warm your hips up or yeah. you actually do this like a working set? Well I'll do some working sets here for sure. Do you want some pads to get more of a stretch? So you don't bottom uh, out. Just so you don't bottom out. Yes. I do it with all my Yeah yeah yeah. All right. yeah. Anywhere near as much pads as I normally do with my clients. So okay. just put this like right in between there. Okay. squishers. <laughs> That exercise is like the main thing that's helped me be able to hit my back shots better. Because I flare my glutes, and being able to flare and still contract is all hip abduction. And holy fuck, I was so bad at it when we first started it, and now it's like. The bar's getting open. Yeah. yeah you can probably do a better adduction too, then. You get a better stretch in adduction too, right? Yeah. What's the order of the pass? What's that? What's the order of the pass? What do you mean the order? The order of what are you going like? Okay, so I'm gonna do, so my, my normal warm up is I bounce back and forth between these two and then we go working sets on the adductor. Then from adductor I'll do seated ham curl. Then I'll do a lying ham curl. I'll go over to the squat pro and I will do a wide stance sumo squat and I will also do good mornings on it or like, kind of like an RDL whatever but like all in the same movement or? no so I'll, I'll do the sumo squats and then I'll do the RDLs and then after that most of my ham work now is done I'll do a single leg leg press which for me hits everything and then I'll transition into like a quad. I'll do like one hard quad movement, leg extensions, walking lunges. And I, I'm doing, I'm making myself do walking lunges with dumbbells now, okay. as opposed to body weight. And I've noticed that like my legs are just so sore after doing them with dumbbells, as opposed to. Are you trying to get more knee flexion? Um, I'm, 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 I'm kind of just like. I'm kind of stepping in whatever normal pattern my body Get wants to go in. And yeah. Like what you can. Yeah, because it it hits my glute ham tie in like more than anything, regardless of how I step. So even if I do shallow steps, my my glute ham tie in gets really stretched. Okay. Grab 
that before anybody else does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like you know Oh you you crank it open yep. once you're in there? Yep. Oh, yep. You don't have any issues? No. Alright, cool. It took a long time because <laughs> I was super ham dominant. I still want more. I still want more quad. Building up the Oh yeah, absolutely. Which makes it I know. <laughs> but I will say, like, my back shots are so much better now with flaring because of my adductor, and it pulls. It it, it gets my sweep and my hamstrings so to, to show like, like crazy, and like my legs like doubled in size which Joey for a while was having me tuck and then he goes, dude, you just lose way too much leg. As far as like tucking, you're tucking. Yeah. Right? You, what, you pull back now or you just don't? It's like somewhere in the middle. Right. So instead of like pulling all the way, like the extension. No, I push my hips back and then I just contract whatever I, I can, yeah, which is why is. the abduction is then so helpful.
two. gotta be fucked up in the head. <laughs> Loco and La Cabeza. <laughs> Ah! 
guys well in between my rounds of throwing up right now we just finished that was hard I will say this was one of my more physically and mentally demanding leg days of prep and I'm just about certain that they'll just keep getting harder as we get closer to the show about four more four more leg days I I imagine because I have one scheduled for Friday and then I'll hit two more the following week and one of which I will make sure is anywhere between seven and five days out. That way my legs have some fullness with plenty of time to get the inflammation out so that way they are nice and sharp on stage. But training output is staying very high which is something I was really trying to prioritize this prep. Uh, for nationals my leg training started to suffer around the four week out mark. I just wasn't very strong, had a hard time holding on to strength and as a result I think I may, might have peeled off a little bit of tissue in pursuit of making weight for middles which I mean hey it all worked out because we won anyway but the 212 is a different story the guys going to Texas are a bunch of freaks and uh, I'm gonna have my hands full but I'm, I'm very confident in what we're doing what we're bringing condition is in a great spot today we're 18 days out so to have 18 days to continue to tighten up get my backside to be as tight and saran wrapped as possible based on how I looked both yesterday and today uh, I, I like where I like where we're at we're gonna be bringing what I believe to be my most conditioned and best overall package uh, as I'm still poised to be about 10 pounds heavier than I was when I won my pro card so that I'm extremely proud of uh, another big off season after Texas Pro and I think that I might have something competitive so Thank you guys for watching and Special thanks to Eddie as well for being here on such short notice to be able to push me through uh, This workout I'm gonna have him here with me Tuesday and Wednesday of this week then Thursday through Saturday I'm in Tampa for the Tampa Pro and then all of next week. I asked Eddie to jump in and push me through some workouts because it definitely helps having that push and it was nice to be able to just be an athlete today as opposed to always technically being in the fire as a coach uh, when I'm training with some of my athletes so it's okay to be selfish sometimes and at two and a half weeks out I think it's a pretty appropriate time so if you, if you guys have watched this far thank you as always please like subscribe and share we'll catch you next time